Hello and welcome to an EverQuest a Druid Guide for a level 110 a Druid. Uh, how I play my Druid as mostly a boxed Druid, so keep that in mind. Some of this might be useful if you don't box, some of it might not be. I don't know. That's up to you. <laughs> so let's get the, the mindset here of how I play this, this character. It is a backup healer. It is a backup damager. It is not a primary damager because uh, I can't do that. Uh, it is mostly a backup healer to the mercenary. Uh, I don't do primary healing because I don't think I can react fast enough and I don't want to take that risk upon myself. But uh, that's kind of how I play. So we're going to go over spells and then we're going to go into the hot bars and uh, go over my extended target. So I do this in every one of these setup videos, but my extended target is kind of like how my characters run. Uh, X target one, two, and three are my characters. So my tank is always one, my uh, CC is always two, and the character uh, that is the healer is always three. So the druid's always three, enchanter is always two, and the tank is always one. The tank's target, which is he's also set as the main assist for the group, is number four. So X target four is my what I'm going to be doing damage to. And then I have a tank down here. So if my X target one and my tank are not the same character, right? Say I'm doing something different. I got a different character in the group. The tank will be set down here and he will still be my follow character because my follow is based on my X target one. X target one is the character I'm most going to mostly be playing. All right. Does that make sense? If the, the, the tank could be a pet or something like that. So I, I plan on adding a mage to this group at one, some point. And the mage pet might be the tank. It just depends. So let's kind of go into my spells. So my first up is a heal. <laughs> surprise, surprise. This heals for 15,000 Corvida. Uh, it's just, a, you know, your basic spam heal. Like you can cast it. It's kind of a slow cast, but it's big damage, right? And you get all these other effects when you do it, but you can cast it again immediately afterwards. Uh, my next is the group heal. This heals for 14,000. It's a pretty big range. Like if we look at my paladin over there, I uh, should be able to hit him from over here. You see, hit, uh, hit all the way over there. So definitely uh, a good thing to have. And the, uh, the group heal. Uh, triggers the synergy right here, preserver synergy, which will then uh, give everybody in, in that that range that hit it, the 100 foot uh, radius, will give them a duration the next three spells that land on them will heal them for an extra 4700. Uh, so I kind of cast that on cooldown just to make sure that is always up. Then we have remote, a remote moon flash. This is a remote heal. So the way this this heal works is I'm I have this as my target like whatever the I'm fighting I will nuke it for 1200 or 12000 right and whatever it is fighting whatever its target is will get healed for 1300 everything I can't keep saying 1300 13000 so and that can crit so you know it's it's a nice, it's a nice little way to do it. You know, you're doing damage and you're healing at the same time. Uh, next up, I have Nature's Blistering Wrath. Now, I don't have this in my rotation as my normal rotation because it takes, like, I mean, 17,000 mana per cast. <laughs> I only have 140,000 mana, so you can see what happens really quick. Uh, but I have it memorized because I use it on named. Uh, thorn spike rush is a big damage thorn spike, right? So this will add uh, what 4,600 uh, damage shield damage to my tank. So that'll be added to whatever he already has. And then a 10% chance for it to do an extra 7,000 damage, right? So it's just a big thing, big, big damage. It can come out of this. Plus, it also heals the target for 20,000 via Adrenaline Barrage, which is a quick, fast heal I have down here. And a 35% chance that award him for uh, some incoming damage. So you kind of see how I'm 
I'm I'm a healer, but I'm doing damage, right? And then we have Sun Flame, which is just a uh, a dot that does uh, eleven thousand per tick for thirty seconds. And then we have Guard of the Reptile, which is a proc-ish buff that when every time uh, the target gets hit, they get a chance to you know what is this? What does it all do now? Lowers the attack power, lowers the armor class, reflects a heal a spell that will for heal for 4,000, and then heal 3,200 over time. It's a nice little proc spell. It used to do just pure healing, so it changes over time as it gets better. Uh, then we have Horde of Poly. Uh, this is just a 12,000 uh, dot tick. So 12,000 a tick for 54 seconds. Uh, overwhelming Sunray. This is another dot. Uh, it does way less damage, so it's only 19, 1900, but it also lowers the resist armor class and increases the damage taken by fire spells. Now, if I w I'm not casting remote uh, Sunfire or whatever it's called now uh, at the moment because I was in uh, I was in uh, Scorched Woods, I think, and I just swapped them over. But there's two remote spells you can swap between. Uh, one fire, one ice. Uh, so this would add more damage to that. And if I, you know, it's just a good synergy, right? So uh, I just, I cast that on names only though. And then we have this new spell. I just bought this. Uh, I bought it at like 109 and I haven't used it very much, but... It sounds interesting, and it stacks with all the Paladin stuff, so... This will infuse the group, like everybody in the group gets it, uh, with a chance to do this. Uh, a 4,900 point heal uh, on the target's target. <laughs> this is crazy. Every time a melee strike, a chance to cast that. Now, if I'm... If, if, I'm, if I understand this correctly, the pet can trigger this. And if I have my other characters meleeing, they will trigger this too. And these are just heals that go to the tank, uh, the target of the target, which is the tank. Like if I do, if I cast it now, right? And where? I don't. I can't see her pet. It's over there. <laughs> uh, where is she? He's so her pet should have this buff on it, right? Uh. I can't see all his buffs, but let me look on here. I might not be able to see all his buffs. Let's move that up a little bit and bring it down. Right there, Eternal Waste. So the pet's melee will heal the tank and everything else. So it's it, it seems to be a really nice spell. For that extra healing, I don't know yet. I have not done any practice with it. So it's just, it's just in there. Uh, Adrenaline barrage. This is just a big heal that does the ward. It's triggered also by Thorn's Bike Rush, so it's nice. Uh, twin cast. I gotta twin cast everything I can for damage, uh, so I always twin cast. Just having that going. Uh, I used to have more nukes down here in my uh, multi-bind, but I, I take them out because druids have mana problems if they're doing damage. Uh, if they're healing, not so much mana problems, but doing damage it seems to go terrible real quick. And then in my last slot, it's just uh, a, a you know junk slot for whatever I was gating around before. All right, so that's the spells I have memorized. Uh, hot bar wise little uh, about the same as the level 100 video and the level 105 video we got my hide corpse button and then my assist nuke button which is multi-bind on four so it does remote moon flash twin cast uh i cast luna salve every cooldown so i'm always getting that uh the uh preservers buff right here this preservers synergy I always want that at all times because the mercenaries heals on the tank will take those charges. So it's not just my heals. It seems to be the mercenaries heals too. So it's pretty nice. Uh, distant conflagration. So this allows me to twin cast my remote uh, 
remote spells. So the remote heal I'm doing, it does that too. So some stuff going on there. And then I have pet attack, uh, distant conflag. I had that is a thing down here. I'm going to go ahead and just take it out of there. And then summons. The summons uh, spirit of nature, which is a fairy. Nature's guardian, which is a bear. And they just attack whatever target I'm fighting. And then I cast group spirit of the wolf and great wolf. Uh, so these are great buffs that just accelerate the ADPS. I don't have it on right now. I'll start clicking here in a minute. Just accelerates the ADPS of the group. Uh, if we had a if we had a mage or a wizard in the group, this they would be doing so much damage. Uh, the way that I, she's set up with the enchanter. All right, so that's kind of how I multibind, and then my group heal is just all the big AA heals that we have: Nature's Boon, Spirit of Wood, Wild Tender Survival, and my group heal. I just that's when I hit that button. That's usually something's gone wrong, and I'm trying to uh, trying to fix it. Uh, my burns: Silent Casting, Focus Acarnium, uh, Distant Cun Flag. Uh, Nature's Fury, Improved Twin Cast, and then over here, Intensity the Resolute. I feel like I'm missing Spire. Is there a Spire for a Druid? <laughs> yeah, there's a Spire of Nature. I don't have that in there. All right. Let's add that in. So like, all I do is uh, just Alt, Act, what is that, 1480, uh, Spire. There we go. So that's in there now. <laughs> I totally missed it with all these other same naming things. But this is a great... I know I talked about it in one of the videos, but it increases the max, you know, the... Uh, let's see here. As a passive effect, increases your mana. Plus is all group, group members with Apex of Nature, which triggers a Thorns. He increases their max health, increases their armor class. Increases healing and increases chance of damage will land a critical. I mean, it just goes crazy. So it's just, you know, all these fire spells are really, uh, really good for extra damage. All right. Uh, da -da, that's my burns. I got Veil of the Underbush here for evading. So if something goes bad, I can hit the uh, minus button and all three characters will evade. Uh, which will typically lead to the mercenaries dying, but uh, I'd rather a mercenary die than one of my characters because uh, it takes longer for me to recover a character. My debuff button, so this is, I snare it, I vortex a row it, and I blessing of row it, and then I seasons a wrath it. Now you're like, what are all those? So, blessing a row casts the highest rank of Calro which is just a resist debuff for fire resist and attack and armor class. And it also heals the target's target for 10,000. <laughs> Pretty nice, right? So while I'm debuffing, I'm still healing. Uh, then I have Vortex of Row, which activates the highest rank of Gaze of Row, which does pretty much the exact same thing, uh, but they stack, I believe. So it's weird. Like I get all, I get a whole bunch of buffs across the bar when I do this. And then seasons of seasons of wrath. I don't see it. There it is, right there. Increases the damage your target takes from cold and fire spells by fifteen to twenty-five percent for one minute. So this is just another adds it on there. More more damage for me. Uh, if I had a wizard or a uh, mage in the group, they would get more damage from that. Be you know this ADPS that a druid provides, right? That's kind of what they go, they do. They provide, they provide services. They're not a consumer. All right, then we have Nature's Fury, and which just increases the base damage of all our spells and increases our damage for twenty percent. It's just more damage, thirty-three percent more damage for twenty percent more mana. Totally worth it. Improved Twin Cast, which just gives us more <laughs> more Twin Casts. Uh, when activated, it allows you to Twin Cast up to 19 spells for two minutes. So every spell I cast during this is Twin Casted. So heals, I believe, and, uh, and uh, damage. Unless there's a separate twin, twin Cast healing one, which I don't think there is. 
and then Spire, the one I t showed earlier, which just does a lot more mana, uh, more more damage, right? Very nice. And then my last one is Intensity of the Resident, which is a 20% damage buff. Doesn't stack with Spire, though. All right. Um, yeah, I was down here. <laughs> and then Heal X Target 20. So this is a, a, a heal specifically for healing the tank, which casts 11 Bar uh, Adrenaline Barrage, uh, then casts 2 Luna Salve, and then it casts 1 Curative. And then Convergence of the Spirits, which is... It's right here. Convert no convergent of spirit. What's convert? Convent of spirit. Oh, that's a passive. <laughs> that's pre-incarnation. Uh, this one right here. So this will activate a heal on the target. You know, twenty-two thousand health, uh, fourteen thousand over time. Uh, increases their armor. You know, just gives them spikes and just an all-around good spell. So, Convergent of Spirit is kind of like the go-to after that. It's eight minute recast, but if I'm if I'm going out of my way to directly heal my tank, something's probably going wrong, and he needs the extra healing anyway. Uh, Short-term buffs. So I have Wrath of the Wild, which is this one right here, adds a sixty thousand point damage shield for ten hits. To the target, the next rank is 70,000. One le more level, 70,000. So every time I get hit, 70 or 60,000 damage for 10 hits, right? Uh, Thorn Spike Rush. So this one right here, which adds Thorn Spike, adds 4,600 4, damage. Uh, I also cast Reptile, which does all the healing. When I get hit and then cast 10, which is Ethereal Ways, which is that other heal proc. So these are my short short, <laughs> short duration buffs. I just hit, hit numpad five and both my Enchanter and my Druid will buff him up real quick with everything. And these are just, they don't last for, you know, four hours like some of these things here like uh, seven hours on this one, right? Seven hours on that, right? These are like less than 10 minute kind of spells. So redoing them a lot. Uh, let's see here, the group buffs follow. So follow just X target one, stand, always stand, then follow. And then I have invite Holdridge in here. So what that does is Holdridge has a macro here invite the two people right so they're they have a pending invite on their on their group thing down here right it's a it says click follow but when i invite the person who invited me it's like i'm clicking follow so i don't have to actually do anything i just hit my follow button and they join up it's saves me a lot of time uh it's very useful uh here's all the druid teleports and uh you know clickies i have right now these are just get me around faster I try to keep them all the same on all the characters so I can know where everything's at then I have uh, heals so X target one uh, just cast one so these are just basic heals on X target one two and three so if I have to heal uh, anyone else you know there's something there and if the reason I have an X target 21 Spe special heal is if the tank is not the same person as X target one, I don't want to uh, do that. So if I like have somebody join me that's playing a tank or something like that, or, you know, a pet or, you know, something like that, someone else is that, that I can separate the two without having to rework all my macros. Uh, and then these nature's fire bolt and frost, these are, uh, these are AA nukes that just do uh, 40,000 each, I believe. Uh, well, that one's 36,000. Uh, yeah, so 36 to 40,000 each. Uh, due to the way the, ma the mana drain is for the uh, druid, I kind of just bring drag these in and out as I need more damage, right? If I'm killing lots of trash, it's easy. Uh, I typically bring them in just to burn them down faster. 
Uh, if I'm killing trash, it takes a long time to kill. I don't bring them in because she's just going to drain her mana faster. So it's that. those are just uh, those things, the veteran rewards. Uh, then I have a tracking macro. I like to keep track of names. You notice every single video I make for Holdridge, I'm tracking for names to go kill them. I kill every name I try to find. It's just the way I play. Uh, I have an assist here, assist dots. So this will cast my four dot spells uh, with a 45 second or a 4.5 second pause in between. Uh, I also have destructive vortex here, which will increase the damage of the dots. Uh, so I can kind of burn if I need to. So it's usually like boom, boom, boom. And then I just let it go. Uh, let's see here. Any of these useful? <laughs> Swarm of Fireflies, no, I have Spirit of Wolf, that's Spirit of Wood is in my heal macro. Call the Wild, that'll bring somebody back. So Druids can't res in combat, but they can call the person back. So you can call, I can, if my tank dies, I can call him back uh, and res him later kind of thing. Uh, Rejuvenation is the Druid res, it's just can't use it in combat. And Nature's Boon is just a, a big stationary heal. And Egress and Exodus, I don't know if you've watched the series, you know I, I Exodus a lot. I Anytime there's about, I'm about to die, I try to Exodus, uh, which just takes us to the secure point in the zone. Insta cast. Radiant Cure is a group cure. Cures just about everything. Uh, teleport Guild Hall. Teleports me here to my Guild Hall. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Uh, let's see here. Nature's Guardians, the, the Bear Pet. Spirit is the Fairy. Uh, pre-incarnation, so this will give me the chance to come back from death. <laughs> it uh, works pretty often. Uh, let's see here, Agent of Change and Wrath of Wild. Uh, I just have it there so I can click it easier when I'm talking about it. And Wild Tender's Unity just casts all my self buffs in a single buff where I don't have to waste my time trying to memorize them. All right, that is all the spells. Uh, we kind of went over the gear, I uh, think, maybe not. I am in uh, full conflagrant gear for uh, ring of scale trade skill gear. Uh, this is the uh, mid-level gear, I guess, for ring of scale. So, you know, at 110, your options are ring of scale gear, right? So I uh, can't remember the name of it. <laughs> But there's there's uh, two tiers uh, dropped. The first tier is not as good as this. The other tier is better than this, uh, stat wise. Uh, then there is the uh, the Burning Lands gear, which uh, has three tiers. Also, there's two drop tiers and a trade skill tier. The trade skill tier is the best tier out of those two. Oh, out of all that. And then at 111, I believe we can equip Snowbound. Uh, gear from TOV, which is 2,000 hit points more than this. So that's kind of the range in the gear here. So you'd you'd probably be at 6,000 in TBL, and then in uh, the next tier up from that would be 7,000. They kind of go up like that, a thousand per tier. Or so, uh, but yeah, I like we so we got this is our last level of auto grants so i have ada sitting around uh i don't know exactly where i'm gonna spend them yet uh kind of gonna probably focus on the healing aspect of the druid just so that i don't die it's really with the, the <laughs> being able to stay alive for when you're getting hit by mobs that hit for fifty thousand is it's key to stay alive so uh that's kind of like the focus i'm gonna have for uh for her AAs and how I build her out, but we'll, you know, have to play it all by ear as we get more AAs and especially when we hit 111 so I can kind of see, you know, what is new that we can get that I don't already have. And then, uh, let's see here. I think that's everything. Uh, gear, uh, Augs, I, I'm go going for Heroic Wisdom. Uh, I don't know if I actually have anything with Heroic Wisdom on it. Uh, I don't have a lot of Augs right now either, so that's another thing. Uh, yeah, Heroic Wisdom is the target I'm going for, so that should increase uh, 
go here. What does that all increase? That increases our mana for sure. Does it not? There. Determines your mana and chance to raise skill. It doesn't really give us a description of what these actually do. Uh, but I believe it adds to the heal amount and the spell damage in some way. Uh, I'd have to research that and see. It used to, like, when the old UI, you mouse over this, it told you what it did. Uh, so, you can kind of see here where, where we lie, stat-wise. Uh, I want to get my mana regen up as high as I can, so if I can find something that does mana regen, I will definitely probably be focusing on that. Because mana... Uh, Druids don't really have much in the way of mana regen. Mask of the Wild Tender, the self-group buff, it gives us 53 mana regen. Um, if we mount up, right, it takes us up just a little bit, but not a whole lot. So it's not really that much different. Uh, now, if we were to do, what's a, let's say, let's do Empires of Kunark, because that one's easy to show right here. If we finish Empires of Kunark, we could get a new mount, uh, which would give us a new mount buff. Which would see here, Mount Blessing Hita, uh, which will increase our mana by 1850, uh, but also increase our mana regeneration by 20. So as we get better mounts, we can get better mana regeneration. So, but that requires completing the entire uh, expansions. So it just depends. Uh, this is the House of Thule vendor bought one from the collector's edition rebuy or whatever. But I think that's everything I wanted to cover. I play her as a healer now, mostly, uh, just to make sure that I don't die because the mobs are getting more and more mean. <laughs> like it's, it's pretty brutal at times uh, in the uh, the current content. Low, older content like Empires and Kudark and Burning, uh, the Broken Mirror, uh, stuff still hits pretty hard. Like I got hit 50k in Bur the Bur Broken Mirror and that was with a sh sword and shield, so something to keep in mind that the healing is important going forward and having a healer in the group is gonna keep uh, making really good payoffs but uh yeah that's all i got to say about the druid for 110 i'll make another video at 115 and we'll see where we at then but uh thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day